stop the candle going out. Aquarius, this is like the fourth time I've tried to do your reading and now the candle's gone out. Let me find, I don't even know where the lighter is. Let me, right, let's do this. Angel, spirit, guide, universe, what would you like Pisces to know? We're going to take them. Pisces, Pisces, I'm going to do this as quick as I can before the storage runs out again. Um, I don't know what's going on with you this week, but I want to get the message to you. You see, they've, they've come out, but this, I'm going to talk about it. Right, the tower. Something is crumbling. Something maybe has come to an end as shocking. Um, the foundation has, has crumbled. So we've got you walking away. You're going to a more peaceful time. You've overgiven. You've overloved. You know you've got your problems, but you're willing to go and sort them out. You might be going away to your mum's house for the weekend just to sort something out, even a spa. You know that you're, you, there's something you need to do that's God-given. You're ready. You've got the two wands here. There's two paths you can choose from. Um, and this feels like a wish come true. This is lovely. This is union. This is great. Um, there's a, there's an ending here, which you probably went back to someone for the second time and it ended worse the second time. But this was this is somehow some kind of victory. There could be a lot of egos or narcissism in these two cards. Though. Um, but you're offered this brand new uprush of feeling, this new home, this new love. Um, it's like you feel something new and you're willing to invest in it. You want to invest in it. Um, this queen, it could be like you've earned some money and you're wondering what to invest in. Uh, but she strategizes, she waits, she knows her worth. Um, there is something coming to an end, like a, a, a third party relationship, um, that's going to cause a lot of, it feels like backstabbing, depression. Um, it's like, you might find out something about someone that you've already ended it with. That. It's like there's these two things to choose from. It's like you've got to be, one of them's a wish come true, but the other one is like, no. It's like there's a competition of wills. Or, or Two people don't win an argument here. There's no point in burning a bridge. There's no point in arguing about something because it's just something's over. There's an uprush of new feeling. You're contemplating investing money into something could be that you're grounded, you've got money, you've got food, you feel you feel good looking. I can't say the S word, but she's got a lovely dress on. She's got nice food. Something's ending with a relationship. There could be tears here that cause depression. Someone comes in with some help, with some reciprocal giving. Um, but it's so, it's like it's there's still a burden here. You still feel like you're shipwrecked on a desert island. Um, You're walking away from overgiving, going to more peaceful time because you've been offered, you've handed it up to God and you're ready for something, a wish come true. Then someone says, no, you can't have it. But why then, or someone says something horrible to you because they've got victory, maybe they came back with you and it's felt like a wish come true, a union, and then they ended it very abruptly. Someone offers you something new and you're dubious about whether to take the gamble to invest. You know your worth now. It's like, I can't do this, even though it's sad. There's no... Someone's begging to come back. And it's like, it's a burden. Them begging you. It's like, you ended it here. You don't want this person back, I don't think. You've got it overgiven. You're trying to work out your... Your dream... And it's just causing you pain. But you're holding your work. You're strategizing. Let's ask this angel spirit guides.
Pisces please what's going on here angel spirit guides what would you like Pisces to know about this week you've got two paths you're waiting for God to tell you the quest to go on and this is it's like you feel good good about yourself that you've got into this peace and now that you can have this union but it's like no someone has a row and they feel victorious over it you're you're being offered new love someone's taking a gamble on you they know your worth they could be ending a third party but this is somehow some kind of worry that people have been talking about it. Let me take all those. Pisces, I didn't say Pisces, sorry Pisces, please don't let my storage run out. Pisces, what would you like Pisces to know about this week? What would you like Pisces to know about this week? What would you like Pisces to know about the next seven days from the 21st of September for their love life for Pisces, please? Give me three or four cards for Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, what's the information for Pisces? Okay. <sighs> Engagement. This your love life is ascending to a high level of commitment. Chemistry. The strong magnetic attraction here. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Maybe someone the wish come true is that someone's ended something to come to you. Take the gamble on you because they know your worth. There's still some pain here or depression that they want to give and take. And so that, but it's almost like it's created a rod for your back or you've, you've realised you've created rods for your back. It's still a little bit of a burden here that someone wants to equally give and take. I don't know. <laughs> it does say this could be the one they want. They want to, oh yeah, look. This is my affair card to help heal this situation. See the other person's point of view with compassion. Two women in that card. You're confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. And it's it is safe for you to love to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. It's like you're holding the fort. It's like it could be something to do with the house. When you're ending a relationship because someone's depression or they didn't offer you enough reciprocal giving and now they're coming in with this reciprocal giving. It's like, I, I, do I really want this? Do I? It says this could be the one. There's a victory over a house, a home, investing in something. God, this is a hard reading. Angel spirit, guys, what would you like? It's like you get your wish come true, so you, you end it with someone else. Or someone gets a wish come true, so you end a relationship with someone else. And it's like, yes, now I'm that I won that, or now I'm being applauded on because I've got this new love, and I'm gambling into it, and I'm... I'm know my worth and I feel good or this new love is you and then at the end of relationship you feel stabbed in the back maybe someone gives equally to someone else and that's a burden although now they're starting to come across you don't really want them but I don't know it says this could be the one Pisces what this the person most on Pisces mind what they like to tell Pisces person most on Pisces mind what would they like to tell Pisces Person most on Pisces' mind, what would they like to tell Pisces? Well, the person most on Pisces is it very strange. I'm confused, and I think you're confused. Is that... I know I was a distraction from your pain. I look for you everywhere. Uh, you came closer than anyone. With the Five of Swords and the Six of Wands, it's very narcissistic. Do you really want to be with someone that's like that i'm afraid to contact you it was my fault but i blamed you and i'm becoming a better person so someone sort of got victory over a row with you but you might have moved on to someone who knows your worth
maybe they want you to take them back or this person's been in prison or I don't know but you do have the tower something's happening out of the blue here and you've got two choices it's safe be powerful it's safe for you to be powerful in a loving way which benefits yourself so know your worth hold the fort she waits for her king to come back a king not a knight a king so if it's not right no matter how much money this person gives you or reciprocation if it's not right be be, be nice but it's thanks but no thanks i think with that ten of swords there it's been too painful too painful um sorry about the confusing reading but do research, seek expert advice. <laughs> I'm not an expert on this. Um, someone could come in and help you with money. Someone could come in and help you out of this burden. Uh, this could be a new love. Um, it could be a woman to help you with the finances. And it seems that someone just, they want to take you beyond the five of swords to take it to the bridge. You know, it's not enough to just break up or terminate something. They want to come in and really upset the, the, the mental. If you look at this card, he's in a fetal position. You don't want to go there. Do not go back to someone after an ending. Um, or this ending again will make it feel like you wish you hadn't gone back. Um, take care, Pisces, and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.